name is Lindsay Braviak, and today I'm going to be making a 0.25 molar solution of calcium carbonate in 250 milliliters of distilled water. So first I had to get all the materials I needed. So I have a 250 milliliter volumetric flask, um, a funnel for the water, a beaker full of distilled water, a squirt bottle also full of distilled water, a spatula for um, transferring the calcium carbonate into my whey boat, and a scale. So first, um, I got my volumetric flask, and I'm going to fill it halfway with distilled water. And this is, you just eyeball this. So you just eyeball halfway, and this is the only time you ever eyeball. Okay, that looks good. And then next, um, I got my weigh boat. I actually pre-measured my calcium carbonate, and with doing my math, I started with, um, since this was what I started with, I then converted it to So then I had I wanted to figure out the number of moles, so I converted um, milliliters into liters. So I got 0.25 liters because molarity is um, moles per liter. And then I set I multiplied <laughs> I multiplied the liters by the molarity in order to get the number of moles and then um, in order to get the number of grams of solution I needed of solute I needed I multiplied the number of moles times the molar mass of um, calcium carbonate and I did that by looking at a periodic table and then so I get 0 0.626 grams of calcium carbonate and I use three sig figs because that's the smallest number I have in my equation, but my scale only has a precision of two significant figures, so I rounded it to 0 0.63 grams of calcium carbonate, which I pre-measured. But if you were to measure this, you would have to put the weigh boat on first, wait till, and then zero the scale in order to get an accurate measurement uh, um, for your solute. So after I get my accurate measurement, which is in this weigh boat, I fold the weigh boat in half, and I use it kind of as almost like a funnel, and I put it into my distilled water. Use your spatula for some help there, and then. You can see that some of the solute got stuck um, on the neck of the volumetric flask. So this is where my squirt bottle comes in, and I'm going to use it to get the rest of the solute off the side. So my this reduces the air. All right, so all of it is now off the side. Um, and before I fill up my volumetric flask all the way up to the 250 milliliter mark, I have to put in a stopper and then shake it and mix it up because if it gets all the way up to 250 milliliter mark, it's too difficult to um, mix. So I'm going to mix up my solution. Right. Right. And then I'm going to fill up the rest of my volumetric flask all the way to the 250 milliliter mark, which is all the way up here. So. 